Hey everyone and welcome to our 97th episode of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. My name is Robert Lewis. I will be your host for today's show. As always, we appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in and watch us today. Uh, if you want to reference my notes for this show or any of our previous episodes, you can find those on our blog page, mrbeer.com slash blog. Um, so today's topic is something that's important. Um, I think it's actually probably one of the most overlooked steps in our brewing process. Um, there's a key reason why you shouldn't overlook this step. Um, and that step is adding cold water into your fermenter before pouring your wort into you, into your fermenter. So obviously when you go to pour in your wort, that mixture is very hot. If you've been brewing like a refill or a recipe that's been boiling for you know a couple minutes to longer than 30 minutes depending on what you're brewing. So you got some hot liquid there. Um, so if you just pour that hot liquid right into your fermenter, it's gonna cause your fermenter to warp because that liquid is too hot for our nice little plastic LBKs. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna ruin the structural integrity of fermenter, open up to infections and all kinds of other things. Basically, that fermenter is no longer usable. Um, and now you've also brewed a beer that you can't do anything with because you don't got any more fermenters to put it in. So it's just a lose-lose situation. Um, another reason that you want to have cold water in there is for the yeast pitch. I think this is awfully not considered much by people. Uh, but when you have cold water in the fermenter, then you add in your wort and then you top it off with more cold water. It gets it right in that proper range uh, where your yeast will promote well pitching it at the proper growth. I mean, pitching temp is very important. We don't talk about it a lot because the cold water kind of helps that, but this is kind of addressing that in a way. Uh, the ideal pitching temperature is roughly 67 to 75 degrees. If you pitch your yeast at too hot of a temperature, it's gonna kill it, it's not gonna ferment at all. You don't wanna do that. That's why you wanna have the cold water. Um, and another reason for adding the cold water is, you know, it prevents you from having to use like a wart chiller or trying to make an ice bath in your sink or your bathtub and all kinds of things, which can be very uh, time consuming and troublesome. Wart chillers are, can be kind of expensive and difficult to use sometimes and then making the ice bath. It's just a, a big extra step that you don't need to use with us so you can just use the cold water for and it works out great. Um, you know, any other type of brewing method you're doing, all grain, partial mash, full extract, you always need to find a way to chill the wort before you put it into your fermenter, before you pitch your yeast. So that's why we use cold water with ours. Um, you know, we're all about making the brewing process easy and simple. And that cold water trick definitely helps. So it's a critical part of the brewing process. Don't forget to put cold water in your LBK. So that's gonna wrap it up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, we got a new recipe we launched last week. So make sure to check that out on our website and our recipes page. Um, follow us on social media we're at mr beer on instagram youtube and facebook is where we're most active if you want to learn more about mr beer brewings mr beer join our facebook group mr beer's brewing society just answer the three questions before we let you in that's going to wrap it up and i will talk to you guys next week cheers